What if I told you that the vast expanse of space has been a stage for unity and international cooperation? Intriguing, isn't it? Our tale begins in the mid-20th century, a time when the world was still recovering from the ravages of war. Amidst the chaos, a glimmer of unity emerged, not on Earth, but in the realm of the stars. The International Geophysical Year of 1957-58 marked a significant milestone. For the first time, 67 countries put aside their differences and came together for a shared goal, the scientific exploration of Earth and space. This monumental year wasn't just about launching satellites and studying cosmic rays, it was about the human spirit, about our shared curiosity and our unquenchable thirst for knowledge. It was about breaking down barriers and building bridges, not just between nations, but between Earth and the cosmos. Following the footsteps of this global endeavor, the Committee on Space Research, or COSPAR, was born in 1958. This international body became a beacon of open scientific dialogue about space, fostering a sense of camaraderie and cooperation among nations. COSPAR served as a platform where scientists from around the globe could share their findings, exchange ideas, and collaborate on future projects. This spirit of collaboration wasn't limited to the scientific community. It permeated through the walls of space agencies worldwide, from NASA in the United States to Roscosmos in Russia, from the European Space Agency to the Indian Space Research Organization. These agencies, each with their unique strengths and capabilities, realized the potential of working together, of combining their resources and knowledge for the betterment of humanity. And so, the dawn of space cooperation began, a dawn that promised not only new discoveries and technological advancements, but also a future where nations could work hand in hand for the collective good. As we ventured further into the cosmos, the need for collaboration only grew stronger. The Cold War era was a paradoxical time. Despite the global tensions, it was also a period of unprecedented growth in space technology. Indeed, the space race between the United States NASA and the Soviet Union's Roscosmos played a significant role in propelling advancements in space technology. The two superpowers, locked in a fierce competition, were hell-bent on proving their technological superiority over each other. This rivalry, although born out of contention, led to a series of breakthroughs that pushed the boundaries of human capabilities in space exploration. Perhaps one of the most notable milestones in the space race was the launching of the first man-made satellite into space by the Soviet Union in 1957, known as Sputnik. This event sparked a flurry of activity from the United States, leading to the creation of NASA a year later. The space race was truly on. Over the next two decades, the world watched with bated breath as both superpowers achieved new heights in space exploration. The United States Apollo program which landed the first human on the moon in 1969, and the Soviet Union's successful operation of the world's first space station, Salyut 1, in 1971, were just a few of the milestones. However, the space race reached its symbolic end with the Apollo-Soyuz test project in 1975. This mission saw an American Apollo spacecraft and a Soviet Soyuz spacecraft dock in space, marking the first international human crewed flight the handshake between American astronaut Thomas Stafford and Soviet cosmonaut Alexei Leonov while floating in space symbolized the end of the space race and the beginning of a new era of international collaboration in space exploration. From the heat of competition, a new sense of camaraderie emerged. The space race had not only fueled a technological revolution, but also paved the way for nations to work together in the pursuit of knowledge and discovery. This marked the beginning of a new era where competition made way for collaboration. Imagine a place where international borders blur and the only mission is the advancement of human knowledge. Welcome to the International Space Station. Perched about 250 miles above Earth, the International Space Station represents an unparalleled example of global unity. For over two decades, it has been maintained and operated through a collaborative effort of five major space agencies. NASA from the United States, Roscosmos from Russia, the European Space Agency, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency have all played key roles in the creation 
and ongoing operations of the ISS. These agencies, representing 15 countries, have put aside political differences and worked together to achieve a common goal. The International Space Station is a shining example of what can be accomplished when nations unite in the name of science and exploration. This cooperation has facilitated countless scientific research opportunities with astronauts from around the world conducting experiments in a unique microgravity environment. From studying the effects of space on the human body to understanding how plants grow in space, the research conducted aboard the ISS has made significant contributions to our knowledge of life in space and on Earth. Moreover, the technological advancements that have come from the ISS are nothing short of remarkable. For instance, the development of the Canadarm2, a robotic arm used for a myriad of tasks on the ISS, has had far-reaching implications in fields such as medicine and manufacturing. But perhaps the most significant achievement of the ISS is the demonstration of international cooperation. In a world often divided by boundaries and differences, the International Space Station serves as a beacon of unity. It's a place where astronauts from different nations live and work together, sharing meals, laughs, and the awe-inspiring view of our home planet. The ISS stands as a testament to what humanity can achieve when we work together. It's more than just a space station. It's a symbol of unity, a testament to the power of collaboration, and a beacon of hope for the future of international cooperation in space exploration. As we set our sights on Mars and beyond, collaboration remains at the heart of space exploration. Never before has this been more evident than in recent projects such as NASA's Artemis program. This ambitious effort to return humans to the lunar surface by the year 2024 isn't a solo mission. It's a global endeavor involving multiple international partners to ensure its success. The Artemis program, aptly named after the twin sister of Apollo in Greek mythology, represents a new era of lunar exploration. It's not just about planting a flag and footprints, but about sustainable, long-term presence and the potential for lunar resources. And this grand vision is only possible through the collective efforts of various space agencies. Turning our gaze to the east, we see the rise of new players in the realm of space exploration. India's ISRO, for instance, has made significant strides in recent years. Its Mars Orbiter mission, also known as Mangalyaan, made India the first Asian nation to reach Mars orbit, and the first in the world to do so on its maiden attempt. This achievement marked a new era for international cooperation in space with ISRO, sharing its findings with organizations worldwide to advance our understanding of the Red Planet. Similarly, the United Arab Emirates Emirates Mars mission, with its Mars probe HOPE, embodies the spirit of global collaboration. Launched by a Japanese rocket, built by a team of Emirati and international scientists, and supported by educational initiatives worldwide, the HOPE mission exemplifies how space exploration can bring nations together in pursuit of common goals. The future of space exploration is not about competition, but collaboration. It's about pooling our resources, knowledge and expertise to push the boundaries of what is possible. As we venture further into the cosmos, we are reminded that we are not just citizens of different nations, but inhabitants of the same planet, sharing the same sky. Indeed, the future of space exploration is not a journey of one, but a collective voyage of many. So, we've taken a brief journey through the history of international cooperation in space exploration. We've seen how the dawn of space cooperation was born out of a need to understand the universe beyond our planet. We've seen how space agencies worldwide like NASA, ESA, Roscosmos, and ISRO have worked together to push the boundaries of our knowledge and capabilities in space. We've traveled through the era of the space race, a time of intense competition that ultimately led to unprecedented advancements in technology and scientific understanding. It was a period that demonstrated the power of human curiosity and the lengths we're willing to go to to satisfy it. Next, we moved on to the International Space Station, a remarkable testament to the power of unity and cooperation. This orbiting laboratory, a joint venture by numerous nations, symbolizes how much more we can achieve when we work together. The ISS has not only facilitated groundbreaking research, but also fostered a unique sense of international camaraderie, setting a precedent for future collaborative efforts in space. Looking ahead, 
we acknowledge that the future of space exploration is indeed collaborative. As we venture further into the cosmos, the challenges we face become more complex, requiring the collective brilliance of the world's best minds. Through international partnerships, we can pool resources, share expertise and mitigate risks, enabling us to reach new frontiers and make discoveries that benefit all of humanity. In conclusion, the role of space agencies in international cooperation and exploration is more than just about reaching new heights in space. It's about uniting nations, fostering a global sense of curiosity, and working together for the betterment of humanity. If you learned something new from the video, then please give a like to video and share your opinions in the comment. And don't forget to subscribe for more such content, and also share it with your friends and families.